Today, I'm gonna accidentally start World War III. And by accidentally, I mean I'm totally gonna do it on purpose. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to World Box. This is the crazy game where I cause absolute destruction, just like I do in Solar Smash. So let's go over to the Steam Workshop. I downloaded Planet Earth. I think it's this one right here. Yes, this is it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a bunch of different populations on different continents in the world. Then... I'm going to connect all of them and just have them fight each other in World War III. So let's actually start with the United States. This is where I live. I live right about here in Philadelphia. Let's go over to our units. So what do we have? We've got humans, we've got orcs, we've got elves, and we've got dwarves. Now, all four of these guys don't like each other and are going to fight to the death. So we're going to start... I don't know. Let's start with humans. What's the description here? Basic humans with basic needs. I, I guess all of us are, are basic according to this game. I, I take major offense to that. So what we're going to do is right now... I forgot about the crazy sounds that it makes when you spawn in different units in this game. We're going to spawn in a ton of different humans in the United States. Then we're going to spawn in elves. Wait, so the elves don't like orcs. The orcs are green and brute creatures. They don't like humans. Okay, so we're gonna put the orcs probably up in Canada, somewhere close enough. And then the dwarves don't like elves. See, they just, they all just don't like each other. They all just don't like each other. So, wow, they already invented fire. I invented the humans like 20 seconds ago. They, these are good humans. These are not basic humans with basic needs. These are intelligent creatures with advanced needs and wants. I don't know. It's, just, it's listen to the sound. Does that sound like a guy that has advanced needs and wants? Wait. No, no. No, it doesn't sound like that. Okay, I'm gonna spawn in a ton of humans here, and uh, that that seems pretty good. You guys also told me that I can speed up the simulation, so and I can see how old the the, the world is. Oh, so it's already been five years and nine months. What happens if I speed things up a little bit? How do I make things go faster? How do I make things go faster? There's definitely a way to make things go faster. I already did that before. Here it is. I could make things five times speed. And now, oh, you can see now it's like two months every second. So it's already been seven years. So you know what? I'm actually going to pause. Uh, let's bring this down to uh, her pause. I don't want the humans to get way too advanced and then just absolutely destroy all the other creatures because that won't be fair. Also, why is Canada like filled with magma? Like, can we look at this here for a second? Wait, let me get out of this menu, Brandon. If I go up here, why is everything just black in Canada? I don't I, I don't think that's what it looks like. If anything, it's white because of the amount of snow that's in Canada. You know what? That's fine. Right now, we have 50 humans that live on uh, the, in the United States. I actually thought I spawned in more than 50, but that's fine. Let's go over to Europe or Africa. Let's start with Africa. We're going to start with Africa, and we're going to spawn in... We're going to go with the elves. So the elves don't like the orcs, which means I'm probably going to put the orcs in Europe, somewhere that's close. This is going to get bad. If you guys want to see more World Box on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe right now. Okay, so we're going to put a bunch of these elves in Africa, and let's throw them up here in, like, Saudi Arabia, the, the beginning of the Middle East. Okay. That seems like a good amount of... Wait, what are the sounds that these guys make? Oh, I like those guys. It's like a bop, bop, oh, I don't, that was terrible. Don't make fun of me. Okay, now we're going to go over to the orcs and we're going to put these bad boys. Uh, should we put it in Europe? I feel like that's a little too close. I want to let these, these civilizations progress a little bit before they go into absolute pandemonium. So we're going to put these guys over here in like Russia, China area. We're going to go over here in like Eastern Europe. Oh, Gosh, oh, the sounds that these guys are making are terrifying. Yikes, I do not like that sound at all. Okay, so those were the orcs, and they don't like humans. Oh, maybe I should have put the orcs in Canada. What about the dwarves? Who do the dwarves not like? The dwarves don't like the elves. Well, you know what? That's fine. You're gonna have to get over it, guys. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the dwarves in South America. Great. Okay, so now the dwarves can oh my gosh, there's already a king. There's already a king of the humans. I'm going to name him Brandon. It's Brandon the king. I didn't do that because my name's Brandon. It was just a random name. Okay, it was definitely because my name was Brandon. Okay, so now we've got... Wait, let's go over to the population. Let's go over to our stats. So now we've got 244 
beings. So we've got 244 of the humans, the elves, the dwarves, and the, 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 well, I don't remember what the fourth one is, but I'll remember in a second. So, so far the world is seven years and 11 months old. That's a lot younger than I am, probably younger than a lot of you guys are. Okay, I should probably give these civilizations resources. So let's give, uh, we're gonna give the humans a bunch of gold. So they're gonna be rich, but they're not gonna have materials that are strong. We're gonna give stone down here to the dwarves. So they're gonna be poor, but they're gonna have strong, uh, tools. And then over here in Africa, we're gonna put ore deposits. I don't know what kind of ore it is, but we're going to hope that it's a nice ore. And up here in Russia and China, I'm just going to give them a ton of berries. Yep, they're not going to have any materials, just a ton of berries. They will be very well fed before they get decimated in World War III. Oh, also, at the end of this, I'm totally going to nuke the entire world like I do in Solar Smash. Okay, I think I'm good to go. So we're going to go 3, 2, 1, go. And we're actually going to speed things up to five times speed. I want these civilizations to progress. Whoa, look at these guys. They are moving. Don't tell me they're already fighting. Are you Are you guys already fighting? They're already fighting. Excuse me. I, I put you guys on this world two seconds ago, and you're already fighting. The humans seem to be doing well. They're happy with their gold, and they're scavenging with the trees and everything. And the humans are coming down here, and they're fighting too. Why are these guys so evil? Why can't they just live in peace? I mean, I guess I should probably say that about our world, too. We can never live in peace, either. I mean, we've got this beautiful world filled with resources and food, and they all they want to do is fight, okay? I've, I, oh, my gosh. I think the humans have already killed everybody down here. What's the population? It's been 11 years and 4 months, so basically, like, 4 years since I hit the play button, and the population's already been cut in half. Yep, half of the people have died. They, they're not even smart enough to... Your world? What? I don't, I, I don't even know what that said. I, I, I don't know how to read, and, and, and it just scared me. I don't know. Okay, here we go. What's the population now? The population's 127. Uh, Canada is still covered in, in some sort of a char-colored material. That, that's probably not good. You know what? We haven't filled in Greenland. Let's fill in Greenland. Who do we want to put in there? Let's pause the simulation again. Pause. I don't. I would not want to live in Greenland. I'm sorry if any of you guys are from Greenland. Does anybody even live in Greenland? It seems cold. Okay, I, I don't really like the cold. Would anyone enjoy the cold? I, I, I don't know. I feel like the orcs. Orcs seem like a... They seem like guys that would really enjoy enjoy cold. Okay, and we're gonna put, uh, tons of crocodiles, and, uh, we're also gonna put these weird biomass uh, things with one eye and penguins, because everybody knows the penguins love cold. We're gonna give them lots of enchanted seeds. Three, two, one, play! Okay, what are these dudes doing? Oh my gosh, they're getting killed by the crocodiles. Why? Oh my gosh, they just killed the penguin. The crocodiles are trying to eat their faces off. I'm so bad at this. I am so bad at this. I was trying to build the civilizations and then have them attack each other. And all of that went to gobbledygook. None of that worked. Hey, the humans are actually doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, Europe's just gone. Nobody lives in Europe anymore because they all just killed each other. Africa, Africa doesn't exist either. Is anybody living in Africa? There's like one dude. What am I going to name him? Oh, I gave him enchanted seeds. I didn't mean to do that. Sar, well, I don't know. I guess that's a good thing, right? I, di I didn't mean to give him enchanted seeds, but why would he not want enchanted seeds? So we're going to create a path from the United States to Greenland, and then the orcs and the humans are going to battle. It's going to be like Lord of the Rings, but even more fun and not three hours long like the Lord of the Rings is. Okay, and... Just like that, there is now a, a man-made bridge that's also kind of a natural bridge that connects the United States and Greenland. Wait, are these guys dying? Why are they dying? Are, are you not able to go on this black uh, material here? I don't I, I don't know what that is. Wait, wait let, me, let me change this a little bit. I'm doing a terrible job. There we go. Okay, now it's no longer black and scary. Now it's... it's soil colored. I'm doing so bad at this. Come on, orcs. Travel down to the United States and attack the humans. This is not World War III. This is like the World Fair. We've got some fighting. We've got some fighting. The orcs have started fighting the humans, and now the other ones are starting to make their way downtown. They're starting to make their way down. The only problem is the humans have had 19 years, 20 years to build up their, their army and their, uh, their, their resources. Come on, orcs. I'm rooting for the orcs, even though I'm a human. I should probably be rooting for the humans. Come on. 
Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. You know what? Fine. Fine. You want me to start World War III? I'm gonna start World War III. Let's spawn in the orcs right on top of the humans and just watch them fight to the death. Three, two, one, go! I just surrounded the human race with orcs and the orcs don't like them. Come on. Whoa, the humans are winning! I think the humans are actually winning. I guess they are more advanced than the orcs, so that would make sense. Look at this. They're, like, teaming up on them. This just makes me feel bad. I always like rooting for the underdog. So you know what? I'm going to make this a little bit more fair. I'm just going to spawn in two volcanoes right in the middle of the human race. And now everybody's on fire. Oh, no. Oh, those were more vicious volcanoes than I thought. It's like one of those rare double volcanoes that just sneaks up on you. You gotta hate when that happens. Oh. Well, Greenland's actually looking a lot nicer now. Nobody wanted to be in Greenland before, but you spawn in a couple of these vicious volcanoes. Greenland looks like it's a beautiful vacation area. What's the population right now? The population is 336. 258 deaths. Oh my gosh. That is a large death ratio. Whoa. I can... Hey, that's fun. I don't think that does anything. I think that's just kind of fun to do. Okay, I'm getting distracted here. Now it is time to really unleash World War III. It is now Brandon against the entire world. That's what's going to happen right now. I am going to take out... Ooh, the heat ray sounds fun. What about the SAR bomb? Atomic bomb? Bomb? Oh my gosh. Uh, let's go... Uh, let's just go with the SAR bomb. That's the fun way to do it. We're going to go, and we're going to make this as big as we can do. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to scatter scar SAR bombs all around. Oh, that is big. Yeah, three, two, one, go. Oh, no, I'm going to break the game. Oh, I'm going to break the game. Okay, this is like World War Three, Four, and Five, all at the same time. What's the population? It's zero. Hit that subscriber button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.